All right, guys, we're bucktailing for porgies with a tiny little bucktail, half ounce spro, and a piece of sandworm. All you need is a small piece. Don't hang it off the end too much because they'll rip it off. You just need a small piece like this for scent, and you're gonna cull out your bigger porgies this way. Hopefully, usually, anyway. Drop it down. I'm in about 15 feet of water. As soon as I hit the bottom. There it is. Woo! Big foot truck. Nice one. Look at this, huh? my worm back. Nice porgies, huh? Beautiful. I'm going to bleed them out in a minute. I'm just going to try to get a few more while I'm on the spot. And he spit up this worm and I'm going to reuse it. Drop. It's like I'm still on them. I mean, with these uh, bucktails and sandworms, it's if they if they're here, there it is. They'll hit them as soon as it, as soon as it hits the bottom. This might be a smaller guy here. There he is. Well, there's nothing else biting, so uh, I'll bring home some dinner. Still got some nice sandworm left. Just a little bit. Let's see if this works. If we're still on them, they'll hit it. All you need is a tiny little piece, and they'll annihilate it. And uh, once I run out of the dozen sandworms I brought, these fish are so aggressive that I am going to use gulp. A little three inch or four inch mullet in the back of the bucktail. They will hit that as well when they're this aggressive, but. Um, You're there. All right, see? No more hits. Worm is gone. Put a little piece on. A dozen worms, will, uh, big ones like this. These worms are awesome. Combs Bait and Tackle, by the way, on Merrick Road in Amityville. Nice, big, fresh, juicy worms. I do get a lot of worms from Causeway Bait and Tackle as well in Wantour. But I was actually just on the way past Combs yesterday and last night. And I knew it was coming out, so I picked up some worms. My intention was to troll the tubing worm, but the water's actually a little bit on the dirty side. I, was, I didn't pick anything up. I did troll the tubing worm for a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So now I'm using the worms for porgies. Beautiful. Some nice fillets for dinner. Maybe I'll do a catch and cook whole grilled porgy. My favorite way to eat it. Grilled on hardwood coals, whole. Some onions, garlic, olive oil, parsley. Delicious. They do hit a little better if you put a fresh piece of worm on it. All I'm doing is just jigging this off the bottom. I'm letting it hit bottom. A lot of the times these things aren't even letting the jig hit the bottom. Right. And guess what? Of course, the worm's gone. 
no hits, no worm. We're actually gonna try something here. I, I have plenty of worms, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I didn't even bring the small gulp. I'm just gonna. Try, I don't even have three-inch gulp mullet, but I'm gonna try. my other technique which usually works really well for these porgies and actually this gulp does not get bitten off too easily it's the five inch or the for the I believe this is the five inch the five inch jerk shade let's see if they, well, they're this aggressive and I'll just use this on a plain jig head as light as I can go Maybe we'll put on a we'll, uh, we'll put on a half ounce. See, we'll put on a half ounce jig head, super light. They seem to be super aggressive, but a lot of times only the worm works, or the worm works. 10 times better than anything else I could throw down. Even other types of bait, clam, squid. It's uh it's it's crazy how that how that is, but you know, everything eats the sandworms. They're I guess they're absolutely delicious to these fish. All right, here we go. That's a little crooked. Oh, there we go. Straight as you can. I think we're off of them just a little bit. Let's try to backtrack a little. fish for uh, this shallow water close to shore very nice and that was on the gulp jerk shade look how deep look at just inhale this thing very nice Porgies didn't hit on that drop, and I was right over them. So we're probably gonna switch it back to sandworm in a couple minutes if I can't get any more porgies on the gulp. Nope, we're gonna switch it back to, I'm right over the porgies and they're not hitting them. So we're gonna switch it back to the sandworms and probably get a fish on every drop in it. You know, and sometimes that, the fish, so, and I tell people, and striped bass is the same way. Like, you, you, just because you're not catching them doesn't mean they're not there. They're probably, most of the time, there's fish there. You just got to find out what they want. Do a quick, quick switch. I'm really in the same spot. I only... I might... Oh, where's the worm? There it is. That's a fresh piece of worm here. Let's see. Let's see. How much of a difference this makes here? Double barb, take that. There it is. 
take long at all. Not at all. Another nice one. Another jumbo. Bleed some of these guys out, throw them in the cooler before we continue. All right, everyone, I'm gonna save the fish bleeding for another video. It's gonna be short, um, but this is already getting a little long. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, catch them up.